I'm in my 40s. And there's so many things in this world that I have not done that even Miss Shan has done. I know y'all didn't hear come here for me to talk, so I'm gonna take a bite of the sandwich and we'll finish the topic. Does that look good? This is ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Man, this is ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Man, this is ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Welcome back, Triple B. Wingstop Mukbang for you! Yes, guys, we got Wingstop. You can never have enough Wingstop, or at least that's what Miss Shan be saying to me all the time, baby. You see them in their black boxes. You know what I mean? We're going to get them up out of there. But before I get them out of these boxes, y'all, I need y'all to do something for me. What's that? I need y'all to give this video a thumbs up. I need y'all to comment below, baby. And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I probably said that a few hundred times and I almost forgot my own opening line. Ain't that crazy? Hey, look, guys, we about to pray. God is good. God is great. Bless everyone watching my video. Bless this food. Bless the people that prepared it. Give everyone the strength that they need. Amen. All right, guys. Look, through the magic of TV, this wing stop. Well, I'll let you see it in there. You see, I had to mix it up. Miss Shan, we split it. I got some corn and some. You know what? But through the magic of TV, it's going to be on the table when I come back. Be right back. Bam, we back, guys. As you can see, I have, I got some uh, boneless wings. Um, it was a 10 piece, it's about an 8 piece now. This is the Louisiana dry rub, it is my new favorite. Of course I got some extra seasoned Cajun corn um, right here. And then I got a chicken sandwich. This is the, I think it's the medium hot. I'm not sure, I think it's the medium hot that I got. Um, it doesn't say on the box, do it. Oh well, I don't care. If it's hot or not, we about to get it in, baby. Alright, so look, Miss Shan took all the ranch. So I don't have any ranch for my... Um, my bites but honestly guys I like these just how they are sometimes you don't need sauce I do got some mama sauce up here but man comment below what is your wing stop favorite flavor is it a dry rub is it a wet rub mm. and when it comes to buffalo wild wings for example I don't like their uh Boneless wings. I just don't like them. They, they taste like processed to me in a way. I don't know. These taste like these were some real chicken chunks. You know what I mean? So these are probably real chicken. I don't know what Buffalo Wild Wings got. Comment below if you know the secret to that. Um, but I love me some Cajun corn. I just wish they was whole. Like if you go to churches or hey, I'm saying they get a big golden buttery corn come in a little plastic wrapper mm -hmm. I think I'm rocking all over corn could have been them fast food chains to give you that whole corn like that mm -hmm. yep I do have a topic today we'll talk about it in a second I'm going to put a little bit of the mama sauce on there this isn't just a mamba sauce, this is actually a mix. So it's got mamba sauce in here, or mambo, because there's no egg, mambo. And then I spice it up with some of this, um, two other hot sauces. I think I put a little bit of scorpion in there, just a little bit. And then I had that La Bamba hot sauce. And if I can find a picture, I'll put them on the screen. But those are the ones I put in here that make it even hotter. All right, what is the sweet heat? If you are a big MMA fighter, not fighter, but you watch MMA, we lost another young fighter that I used to love to watch. 
He's only 38 years old. And that was uh, Rumble Johnson. And uh, it's Anthony Rumble Johnson. Man. Like I just, like, he always had that power. You know, he never won that belt, but his fights was always exciting one way or another because it was always that chance that he was gonna knock somebody out. And when he do knock him out, it's always brutal. But he died at 38. He was suffering from illness uh, due to like uh, some aggressive cancer, and he passed away. Which will kind of lead into my topic of what I want to talk about. Him going at a young age, and we lost people younger than that, and I lost friends younger than that. Well, in his case, you know, he probably made a million dollars before at some point, or close to it. Known all around the world, he's fought in Japan, he's fought everywhere. But at 38 years of life, do you think he did everything in life that he wanted to do in his life? Because at 38 and with money and fame and all that, did he really get to enjoy his life? Because there was a lot of training in there, a lot of fighting, a lot of traveling, a lot of pain. Did he get to do everything in life? And that kind of goes with me, you know. I'm in my 40s. And there's so many things in this world that I have not done that even Miss Shan has done. I know y'all didn't hear it. Come here for me to talk, so I'm going to take a bite of this sandwich and we'll finish the topic. Does that look good? In this case, I need a thumbnail. So... I can't really say it's medium or regular, it's just I feel like they use a buffalo hot sauce or barbecue sauce, whatever that is. Like buffalo hot. But like even with Miss Shan versus me, she's been on cruises, she's been out of the country. She's even been and it's still part of the state. She's been to Puerto Rico, I think. You been to Puerto Rico? Have you been to Puerto Rico? Yes. Right, she's been to Puerto Rico. She's been, you know, on like I said, on cruises. She's been places. She's had a passport. There's so many things in my life that I have not done that I would love to do. Somebody like me that loves the water, always loved to swim, I've never been on a cruise. I've never been out in the open ocean or, you know, and seen it and just all you see is water. I would love to experience that. So I'm asking you guys, have you done everything on your bucket list? Do you have a bucket list? And um, especially some of you world, you know, you more travel people. Well, my best friend has been everywhere, you know, been to Africa, been to, you know, Europe, been places. A lot of my friends have. <clears throat> There's a lot of places here I haven't, I want to go and experience, you know. I lived in Arizona for years and never went up to the Grand Canyon. And that's what one of the eight wonders of the world, seven wonders of the world. You know, how would I just experience some of those things in my life? But, you never even know. So that's what I'm saying. I'm to start experiencing, doing more things. Comment below some of the things that you wanted to do in your life that you haven't done yet and you still see yourself doing it. cruise one day soon and maybe you guys can join me. We'll play the Big Belly Bob's first cruise party. <laughs> and then where would we go? Comment below where I should go for my first cruise. My first cruise. You're supposed to come up here and get a bite of my chicken sandwich before I bit it. I mean, it's still more than half left. You can bite it from the booty. You don't bite the booty? <laughs> Man, I hate this. It's just so little corn. Right, I've been wanting to tear through it. I've just been leaving it so y'all have some corn to look at because I know y'all like that Wayne stop corn. 
Miss Shan has a great recipe, and I put the card right here in the video for a air fryer wing stop Cajun corn video. Make sure you go check it out. So you can make use of wing stop corn at home. Mm-hmm. Diva is down here at my feet, so say hi to Diva, y'all. Yeah, I usually stay away from the hots and the mediums because they just, I don't have that flavor, you know. I wanted to try the Cajun, I don't think I had the wet Cajun yet. But I think that had to be the hot because it's got a nice spice to it. Mm -hmm. This is so good. say that Popeye's has a better actual chicken sound. I mean, sometimes just gives you better flavors. Once again, if you made this part of the video, comment below. What's your favorite chicken sandwich? I mean, all type of assignments today. <laughs> Off that delicious wing stop meal. Hey, hopefully, this video makes you want to go get some wing stop. That is what I'm here for to make you hungry. <laughs> hey, guys, um, this is a good video. I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed uh, talking to you guys. Hopefully, you guys give me feedback on the topics and the questions that I asked for you in the chat. Uh, other than that, I'm up out of here. I just need y'all to do something for me. I need y'all to give this video a thumbs up. I need y'all to comment below, baby. And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. We woke up today. We are blessed. We have another chance to go out there and give it our best. Help someone else become a better person and be the blessing that the world needs. I'm Big Belly Bob. Peace.